Oh, <laughs> excuse me. Welcome to Abby Dearest with me, Abby. This is my hit internet TV show where I give real people real advice. But you already knew that, right? Only a complete and total idiot would watch the second episode of a series without watching the first. This episode of Abby Dearest, folks sent me letters seeking advice about dating. And you know what? You've come to the right place because I am a dating expert. I've even won a few awards like Best Kisser and Wettest Holes. Whoa, sorry! Oh, it's Roach Rebecca Robles, the bug that lives in my sink. <sighs> Rebecca, what are you doing in my advice slash masturbation cave? Oh, I was just climbing the walls, you know, and I'm sorry for the intrusion. I just had to get away from the silverfish I had a one night stand with. Oh, Rebecca, you're the loosest gal in town. Thanks, Abby, it's true. Anyway, Abby, do you mind if I hang here for a bit? Sammy the silverfish will not stop mansplaining to me that I'm actually a water bug. Ugh. Ugh. I am so sorry. I once went on a date with a guy who tried to mansplain to me that it wasn't socially acceptable for me to eat off the dinner plates of everyone in a restaurant, despite the fact that it was my birthday. Where does he get off? I'll kill him. Well, I'm here giving folks advice about dating. Considering you're the hottest piece of salami this side of the Mississippi, why don't you stick around and help answer some questions? Oh, Abby, didn't you once tell me that your idea of the perfect date was watching You've Got Mail while writing Robert Durst Erotica alone? Rebecca, that was a joke. My idea of a perfect date is rewatching You've Got Mail while writing Robert Durst Erotica with Robert Durst. Gross. Anyway, I got a P.O. box this time. Oh, you're rich! Abby Dearest, dating can be nerve-wracking for me. What can I do before a date to calm myself down? Jittery and Juno. Hmm, well, I know sometimes on the very rare occasion when I get nervous before a date, I try to call up a friend and ask if they'll give me a little pep talk to feel better. Hey, Rebecca the Roach, can you pretend like I'm about to go on a date and tell me all the nice things about me that any date would be excited by? <gasps> oh, yes! Okay, so it takes you weeks to wash your dishes, which means there's always dried food crumbs for me to eat. Oh, okay. Well... Oh, uh, your laundry smells like total garbage, which I love. Well, I I've showered since the last episode. And... You never make your bed, you filthy bitch. Which means there's always wonderful crevices in your nasty ass sheets for me to safely lay my eggs. Okay, thank you, Rebecca. See, it's just that easy to call up a friend and get a little pep. And if for some reason you don't have any friends, oh God. Oh. Hey, Abby. Firefighter Pat Gill, oh my God, hi, what a surprise. What brings you to my neighborhood? Looking to spray that hose onto something hot? Abby, who is your friend? Oh, sorry, Rebecca. This is Firefighter Pat. He's a firefighter. I uh, also do some calendar modeling on the side. Oh my God, Firefighter Pat, that is so funny. I jerk off to calendars. I'm just going door to door looking for the station Dalmatian, Austin. We think she ran off to look for her puppies again, even though we told her that the skins were made into a coat. You uh, see her around, you'll let us know, right? Oh, of course. Do you want to leave your number or a signed calendar? You know, just in case I need to reach you. Sure, I can leave my number. You got a pen? Ready. Nine, one, one. Got it. Thanks. I'll never forget. Well, I had better get going. The mayor's house is currently on fire, but fuck the mayor. Bye, firefighter Pat. I hate to see you go, but I love to watch you leave because I like to look at your ass. It's nice. Abby, you are so totally smitten. You should ask him out. Oh, I don't know. He's way out of my league. I mean, did you see his small childlike body? Do not put yourself down like that, please. You have the body of a teen boy too. Hey, thanks, Rebecca. Abby dearest, after dating for seven years, I proposed to my fiance. I'm curious, how do I keep the dating magic going? Torn in Toronto. 
Well, even though I'm ethically non-monogamous, I only cheat if they're free range and hormone free, I do have a few quick tricks to spice up a dead bedroom. I keep a little box of goodies beside my bed so I can quickly grab items, just in case I need to spice things up. Very traditional. Oh, I have a bigger one at home. I'm getting horny just looking at this one. Oh yeah, use this one all the time. For foot stuff. Ooh, that one stinks. <laughs> Abby, have you ever had sex before? Yeah, of course I've had sex. I mean, I, I love having sex, okay? It's hot and it's wet and it smells gross and I like it. I like those things. <sighs> I remember when I was a virgin. I hardly knew my Utheka from my Umatidia. And now look at me. I've had over 150 babies just today, Abby. Jesus, are they all in my house? Well, yes. Oh, but I ate a couple of them right before taping, you know, for protein. And um, then your cat had a couple, just for sport. And then, uh, oh, the rest are living in your microwave with my ex. Oh, but I cook in there. Yes! <laughs> oh. Abby, dearest, how do you meet people when you hate small talk? What are your conversation tips for a first date? Sincerely, a lonely cowboy in Texas. Ooh, a cowboy. Did he leave his number? Believe me, wrote Rebecca, it's not worth it. I've been burned by cowpoke before. The last one I was with accused me of using her to try to get closer to her horse. And she was right. <laughs> anyway, my advice for you, lonely cowboy, is that if you hate small talk, just get right to the big stuff. Are we getting married? How many kids are we gonna have? What are your favorite Paul Thomas Anderson films ranked from least favorite to most favorite? Just get the important stuff out of the way early. Abby, what's that package? Oh, I must have missed this when going through my letters. Well, open it up. I mean, it could be a gift from a fan or a bomb. Burning members. So flexible. Wow. Hey guys, I think I dropped the package. Have you seen? Oh, Ooh, uh, that's uh, not what it looks like. Uh, we got this new camera down at the fire station and me and police officer Bruce, we just wanted to see who could, uh, uh, you know, fit more. Th I, but you know, it's like we decided to, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, you get it, you're a filmmaker. Abby, I really think I should get going. Goodbye. Pat. You know, I shot a porno too once in college. Really? Yeah, it was making people sick, so Obama made him take it off the internet. Oh, tough break. Anyway, good luck with your TV show, and feel free to call that number I gave you any time. Not just for fires. Thanks, firefighter Pat. I'll catch you later. Well, that does it for another episode of Abby Dearest. Thanks again for all your letters, even the sad ones. They made me feel better about my own life. <laughs> Next month's theme is all about fitness, so put on your jogging shoes and run into those comments and send me a letter seeking advice about working out. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Now get out of here, I gotta go masturbate.